I'm delighted that we have with us today, Mr. Eric Cheng, co-founder and CEO of Carson, Southeast Asia's largest e-commerce platform and Malaysia's first truly Malaysian US $1.3 billion unicorn. Eric, thank you so much for coming on. Did, did you study tech? Did you study coding at university? So funny enough, when I was in college, I studied accounting, ACCA. I think some of you might know that I'm a dropout from college. I didn't complete my study because second year of SCCA, I decided that this is not going to be you know, how I spend my next 10 to 20 years. So Custom is actually the third company that I started. And it was 2015, right, when myself and my ex-colleague, JT, he's my co-founder. So we both started the business together. We saw how fragmented and traditional is the used car market. That environment pushed us to really create Custom. We see that we are able to change and deliver a better experience when it comes to people buying and selling cars. Have you started offering car loans to customers? Yes, documents? three years ago. And now we are building up not just financing, but we are you know, having insurance, after sales, the warranty. We started offering financing to our customers, be it the consumer who are buying a car and dealers about three years ago in Malaysia. So we have built up that vintage of three years and we understand you know, how to scale up, build up a really good credit understanding when it comes to screening our own customers. I think most financing or most banks are servicing the new car industry. So used car is a lot more lacking. So we are looking at a very big underserved category where people has the ability to buy a car, but simply there's just not enough product offerings in the market that's enabling them to own one. Can you tell us a little bit about how you went about raising capital? We have been getting funding from venture capitalists in the beginning. And over the last five years, before coming to 2021, we have raised not more than 100 million US dollars. We've been able to instill a lot of efficiencies to the things that I just mentioned about how we control and optimize the conversion down to how we manage our cash cycle and so on. That now translates into the confidence to investors where there's a lot more financial institutions are now coming in, the big ones. In like our latest round, we not just raised more than what we have raised over the last five years. We raised 170 million about, I think, four or five months ago. Fantastic. And Nasdaq, are you allowed um, to talk about that? Or Yeah, I think this is something that along with the numbers, we won't be able to comment for now. I think it's something that we would find a right time to talk about. But for today, I, I would like to just share the story. <laughs> well, obviously, well, you know, I just want to remind you that MIDF is also an investment bank and uh, we also provide all kinds of funding. So we look forward to helping you. Eric, it's just such an inspirational story you have. You know, I mean, you're classic. You know, you start with this guy who doesn't pay attention at school and plays uh, computer games, and it turns out to be a tech billionaire. So uh, we've come to the end of the time. It's been fantastic talking to you, and uh, thanks so much. Mm-hmm.